stop what you are doing. Right now, in a secured high bay facility in St. Louis, Missouri, Boeing workers are assembling a machine that is about to fundamentally change air warfare. It is not an upgrade, it is not a concept, it is the F-47, America's first true sixth-generation fighter. And, it is real. Production has officially begun. The Air Force Chief of Staff confirmed it in September 2025, this jet will fly in 2028. But here is the critical intelligence they are not emphasizing. Secret test flights have been happening since 2019. Experimental prototypes have logged hundreds of hours in the shadows. China just revealed their own 6th gen prototypes. The gap is closing, the race is on, and the stakes could not be higher. You are about to see exactly what American air dominance looks like for the next 50 years. Welcome to Frontline Eye. For over a decade, the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program was one of the Pentagon's best-kept secrets whispers in defense circles, classified briefings, and massive budgets buried deep within line items. Now, the curtain is lifting, and the reality is stark. The F-47 is being built, and it represents the most significant leap in American air power since the F-22 Raptor rolled off the line two decades ago. Today, we are conducting a full tactical breakdown of this game-changing aircraft, the contract that changed the balance of power. On March 21, 2025, an announcement by President Trump sent shockwaves through the defense industry. Boeing wins the contract. After a rigorous and thorough competition between some of America's top aerospace companies, the Air Force awarded the contract for the NGAD platform to Boeing. The deal is worth over $20 billion, marking the largest fighter development program in a generation. Lockheed Martin, the company behind the F-22 and F-35, didn't secure it. Boeing did. And the workers at the Boeing Street, Louis Plant, men and women dedicated to American industrial might, erupted in cheers. These were not just employees showing up for a paycheck. These were patriots, ready to build something extraordinary for their country. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin articulated it perfectly. These are people committed to doing something great for the nation, and that commitment is already paying off. Just six months after winning the contract, Boeing commenced manufacturing on the first test aircraft. This speed is unprecedented. Programs of this complexity typically take years to ramp up. The urgency is real. The threat is immediate. And Boeing is executing with lethal speed. The classified origins. Preemptive dominance. But let's establish the timeline. The story of the F-47 begins way back in 2014. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, launched the Air Dominance Initiative. They posed a critical question. How do we maintain air superiority in 2030 and beyond? The global security landscape was evolving. Russia was aggressively modernizing. China was pouring hundreds of billions into its military. And America's magnificent F-22 fleet was aging. With its first airframes entering service in 2005, DARPA started work on experimental aircraft, or X-planes full-scale prototypes designed to test revolutionary technologies. And here is the fact that should lock in your attention. Boeing flew their first demonstrator in 2019, years before most people even knew the program existed. By 2023, three separate prototypes had already logged hundreds of flight hours, testing, refining, and proving the foundational concepts worked. Before we dive deeper, if you appreciate this kind of essential strategic analysis, take a second to like this video and subscribe. We know over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it is vital for us to continue delivering this caliber of content. The moment of truth. China forces the hand. The program almost collapsed. In July 2024, then Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall imposed a pause. Costs were spiraling. Each F-47 was projected to cost around $300 million, three times the price tag of an F-35. The program sat in limbo for months. Then, China delivered the undeniable intelligence that made the decision simple. In December 2024, Beijing revealed not one, but two new stealth fighter prototypes, advanced, threatening sixth-generation designs. Suddenly, Pausing NGAD was an act of profound strategic negligence. The Air Force initiated another study, and the conclusion was unambiguous. 
there was no viable alternative. If America was to maintain its air dominance, the F-47 was the only answer. The Trump administration greenlit the program in March 2025. If you are proud of American innovation and our commitment to staying ahead of our adversaries, type proud in the comments below. So, what exactly defines a sixth generation fighter? It is not just about being incrementally faster or stealthier, it is about a fundamental change in the very architecture of air warfare. The F-47 is not merely a fighter, it is the command center of an entire battle network. Triple threat. Range, stealth, and power. Range. The F-22 Raptor has a combat radius of approximately 590 nautical miles. Respectable, but severely limiting in the vast expanse of the Pacific theater. The F-47 changes the strategic calculus entirely. It boasts over 1,000 nautical miles of combat radius, nearly double the F-22. This means it can penetrate deeper into contested airspace, remain on station longer, and operate with far less dependence on vulnerable tanker support. Stealth. The F-47 elevates low observability to a new level. We are talking about all aspect, broadband low observability. Current stealth fighters are optimized primarily against conventional radar. The F-47 accounts for the entire threat spectrum, featuring advanced thermal management systems and revolutionary engine designs that significantly reduce heat signature. It is not just invisible to radar. It is designed to be a ghost across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Speed and power. The F-47 will be powered by next-generation adaptive cycle engines, either General Electric's XA-102 or Pratt & Whitney's XA-103. These are not standard jet engines. They can dynamically change how air flows through the engine core during flight. Maximum thrust needed for combat? They adjust. Maximum fuel efficiency for long-distance crews? They adjust again. The result is superior performance, longer range, and the capability to super cruise at speeds above Mach 2 without relying on afterburners. The system of systems. Loyal wingmen. Here is where the design becomes truly revolutionary. The F-47 is not designed to fight alone. It is the quarterback of what the Air Force calls a family of systems, which includes collaborative combat aircraft, CCAs, advanced semi-autonomous drones, the loyal wingmen of the future, Current plans project a fleet of approximately 185 F-47 seconds controlling over 1,000 CCAs. Contemplate that force multiplication. Each manned fighter will control multiple drones. These CCAs will carry auxiliary weapons, advanced sensors, and electronic warfare packages. They can be pushed ahead into the most dangerous contested areas, and they are significantly cheaper and quicker to manufacture. The F-47 pilot transcends the role of a traditional fighter jock. They become a mission commander, orchestrating a coordinated, distributed attack. The F-47's sensor fusion capabilities will be unprecedented. Seamlessly combining data from its own sensors, with inputs from satellites, other aircraft, and the loyal wingmen, creating a complete, actionable picture of the battle space, and acting on it with devastating effectiveness. Do you believe drones will ever fully replace human pilots in air combat? Drop your answer in the comments. Behind the Vell, Rapid Development, and the 2028 deadline. Let us discuss the element that should truly focus your attention, secrecy and speed. When President Trump announced Boeing's contract win in March 2025, General Alvin made a stunning revelation. Two competitive prototypes had been flying in secret for five years. Since 2020, while the world navigated a global pandemic, Boeing and Lockheed were secretly testing sixth-generation designs, logging hundreds of flight hours, all under a cloak of complete classification. This is the power of classified programs executed correctly. The Air Force leveraged digital engineering. Instead of spending decades on paper designs and endless bureaucratic reviews, they built actual, flying aircraft, tested them immediately, and learned directly from the results. This is how you innovate at the speed of relevance, and it is how Boeing was able to transition to manufacturing just six months after the contract award. General Alvin spoke at the Air Force Association conference in September 2025 and was unequivocal about the timeline. The first production F-47 will fly in 2028. Not maybe. Not hopefully. It will. 
The team is committed because the threat is tangible and immediate. China's stated timeline for being ready to potentially invade Taiwan is 2027. Xi Jinping wants his military prepared for that contingency, and America's response must be ready to deter it. Boeing is moving fast. Their Street Lewis facility has been transformed, with nearly $2 billion invested in recent years for new manufacturing infrastructure. This was not a company hoping to win a contract, this was a company preparing to win and execute it. The engineering challenges are immense. Carbon nanotube composites for weight savings, radar absorbent materials capable of self-healing, and avionics that process more data per second than entire fighter squadrons could a generation ago. All of it must function seamlessly in the most demanding environment imaginable, combat. But the people building it are rising to the challenge. When you examine the footage from the Boeing plant on announcement day, you witness something special. Pride. Purpose. These workers know they are not merely assembling another aircraft, they are constructing the future of American air power. This is not corporate rhetoric, this is genuine American spirit, and it is alive and well in Street Lewis. The strategic imperative. Why the F-47 matters. Let us zoom out for a moment of strategic assessment. Why does the F-47 matter so profoundly? The answer is simple and sobering. The world is more dangerous now than it has been in decades. Great power competition is the dominant reality, and air superiority is the absolute foundation of everything else America does militarily. Without control of the air, you cannot protect your long-range bombers. The B-21 Raider needs fighters to clear its path. Without air superiority, your naval forces, specifically aircraft carriers, become profoundly vulnerable. Without air superiority, you cannot adequately protect your ground troops. Modern maneuver warfare is impossible without owning the skies. America's current air superiority fighter is the F-22. It is magnificent, but we possess only 186 of them, and they are aging. The first ones entered service two decades ago. They were not designed for the evolving threats of 2030 and beyond. China has been anything but idle. Their J-20 stealth fighter is operational and being produced in significant numbers. Their new sixth-generation prototype confirms they are serious about challenging American dominance. The technological gap America once took for granted is rapidly narrowing. The F-47 re-establishes that gap. It equips the United States with a capability that no adversary will match for years. This is not warmongering. This is deterrence. When potential adversaries understand they cannot possibly win in the air, they are far less likely to initiate conflicts. Peace through strength is not just a slogan, it is a proven strategic doctrine. Consider also the vital economic dimension. The F-47 program will employ thousands of Americans, engineers, technicians, manufacturers. It will spur innovation in material science, propulsion, electronics, and artificial intelligence. These innovations inevitably transition into civilian applications, maintaining America's essential technological edge across the board. Our allies are watching too. Japan, Australia, South Korea nations whose security is underpinned by American air power will be reassured when they see the F-47 program aggressively moving forward. It strengthens alliances and makes our collective defense strategy far more credible. For our military veterans and enthusiasts watching, you understand the necessity. Your support and voice in your communities helps maintain the political will to see this critical program through. What do you think is the single biggest advantage the F-47 will have over enemy fighters? Speed, stealth, or drone control? Let us know in the comments. The path to 2028. Execution and evolution. What happens now? Right now. Boeing workers are laying up composite structures, installing systems, and meticulously assembling the first test aircraft. Over the next year, that first airframe will take structural shape. By late 2026, it will be structurally complete, followed by the installation of the engines, avionics, and flight systems. Ground testing follows. Does everything power up correctly? Do the systems communicate? Then comes taxi testing, where the aircraft rolls under its own power. And finally, First flight, 2028. A test pilot will take the F-47 into the air for the first time. That moment will be a massive strategic event 
sending an unmistakable message to allies and adversaries. America's sixth generation fighter is real. It flies. And it is coming. After first flight, the test program will accelerate, with more aircraft joining the test fleet. They will explore the performance envelope, integrate weapons, and validate the complex drone control systems. By 2029, assuming development is on track, the first operational F-47 seconds could begin arriving at Air Force squadrons. That is, initial operational capability, where units begin training with it, developing the tactics, techniques, and procedures to maximize its profound potential. Looking ahead, the F-47 is designed to evolve. This is the virtue of its modular approach. New sensors can be seamlessly added, and software can be updated daily. This is not a static platform. It is a living, evolving capability. The F-47 will also directly inform future programs, including the Navy's own sixth-generation fighter, the F-A-X-X. That is smart acquisition. There will be challenges, cost control, development risks, supply chain friction. But America has overcome far greater challenges. We built the Manhattan Project in secret during World War II. We put a man on the moon in a single decade. We created stealth technology when it was deemed scientifically impossible. The F-47 is the next chapter in that unparalleled story of American resolve. What is your favorite aircraft from any generation? Drop it in the comments and let us see which jet garners the most respect. The F-47 represents more than just advanced technology. It embodies American resolve, the determination to remain the world's preeminent air power, and the unwavering commitment to protecting our troops, our allies, and our vital interests. Production has begun. The first flight is just three years out, and by 2030, the F-47 will change the strategic calculus for anyone who considers challenging us in the skies. The future of air dominance is being built right now in Street Lewis. If you found this strategic breakdown valuable, hit that like button and subscribe to Frontline Eye for more essential coverage of America's military capabilities. We will see you on the next mission.